this video, we're gonna set up your customer facing scheduling app. So to get started, we're gonna go over to the operations page and here we're gonna to go to your operation settings. If we scroll all the way to the bottom of your operation settings, you're gonna see a section here called drop top scheduling. Now, if you don't see any of this information and drop top scheduling is not enabled for you right now and you wanna give it a try, reach out to us and we can enable it so that you can configure it, uh, give the trial a shot and decide if you wanna use the product. So what this shows you here is this is your app URL so this is the URL you're gonna use and you're gonna use this link on your website. So you'll add a button on your website that clicks to this destination and on that link is gonna be your own custom scheduling app. So what else can we do here? Basically that's a copy and paste you can put onto your site. The next thing you can do here is the app color. So if you click this, this color is gonna be the main color that uh, customers see on your website. So whatever color your brand is, I recommend matching that here. You can pick whatever you like or use the RGB uh, color scale here and set that up however you like. One thing to keep in mind, don't put anything that's too light because then the buttons don't look clickable and the text will look white. So make sure you use something that's dark and, and you can uh, visually see it in the scheduling app. Once you're finished setting that, be sure to hit save. The last thing you can set here is your terms and conditions. So to add terms and conditions, hit edit, type in all your terms and conditions here and then hit save. Okay, so once you've set everything in your operations section, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your scheduling settings. So back to operations, at the very top right-hand corner here, we have the scheduler section. I'm gonna click scheduler, and here you're gonna see I don't have any booking slots yet. So first off, what are booking slots? Your operation can have one or many booking slots. Um, the common use case for these is if you have multiple bays, you can create multiple bays and your customers could book your multiple bays. If you're a mobile operation, one booking slot is likely all you need, um, but there's a lot of flexibility and use cases around the booking slots. So in my example, I'm gonna create a new booking slot. Here I'll type in bay one and I'll add a slot. So now you'll see my bay one booking slot. If I wanted to edit the name, I can do so here and I can delete the slot here as well. If I wanted to add more slots, I can continue to add more booking slots. So inside this booking slot, let's go ahead and set our general availability. These are the hours we want customers to be able to book our services. So here I'm gonna select, uh, let's start off at 9 a.m. and we'll work till five. And I'm gonna set the rest of these as well. Okay. So now I've set that I wanna work from nine till five from Monday till Friday. That's my availability for customers to book me. You'll see I don't have any booking slots on the weekend, uh, or sorry, booking availability on the weekend, which means customers can't book me on the weekends. The other thing you can do is what if you want to be able to take lunch off or if you have a specific vacation day. So there's also the ability to have availability exceptions. And here I'll show you how to set those. So before I jump ahead, don't forget, to save as you're working. So I'm gonna hit save changes. It'll lock all that in. And next I'm gonna set some availability exceptions. So I'm gonna click plus exception. And first I just wanna make sure that I have time for lunch every day. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna add an availability exception. We'll say it's starting uh, the 10th. We'll start this tomorrow. I want to be off from let's say noon till one. So I don't want anyone to book me from noon until the 10th at one o'clock. Okay, so now I book myself off for lunch, but I want this to of course happen every single day. So I'm gonna select the repeat and make it daily. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna book me off every day from noon till one so customers cannot book me and I'll hit save changes on that. Another common exception is gonna be maybe a vacation day. So let's add another exception and you can of course have as many as you like. Um, let's say next week, Monday, I'm on vacation. I'll click the 16th. I'll pick this entire day basically, but I'll go 16th at 6 a.m. all the way till 16th at 11 p.m. And I'm gonna put no repeat on that and just hit save. So now customers can't book me on that day either. So there's a bunch of uh, flexibility here. You can make your exceptions daily, weekly, monthly um, to make sure that your schedule is set up the way you want it. 
Okay, so now you've created your booking slots. Customers can book you at the appropriate times that you want them to book you. So that's great. Make sure you've saved your changes there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our packages. So now we gotta say, which packages do we want customers to be able to book us for? So let's click on a couple examples here. If I click my cabin air filter package, you'll see right now, these are all my different operations, but right now I'm working on your operation name here. And right now I have the scheduler enabled, but you'll see that this package is turned off for the scheduling app. So customers would not be able to book this right now. To enable it, you simply click this toggle and now customers can book this package through the scheduling app uh, at this operation. So that one's done. Let's go to the next one. Here's my conventional oil change. I want to turn that one on as well. Um, and let's say the synthetic one, that one's already turned on, which is great. How about the tire rotate? I don't actually have this tire rotate at this shop, so I can add that really quickly. I'll add that operation and I want that turned on as well. So now I have all of my packages turned on that I want. And if you go to that URL that we talked about earlier, you'll see all my packages and customers can book my appointments. That's it for setting up scheduling. Mm -hmm.